from the past To make sure you're learning from mistakes that you did last Send me your letter when you're done Evaluating what your short life has become You should know You should know Hi everybody, good to see you today for today's vlog um, I am currently dazzled by the sun uh, Today we're at Edlingham Castle uh, There's a lot of Ellingjums, Eglingjums, Edlingjums around the Annick area and it all gets a bit confusing for the locals, never mind the, the tourists that uh, visit these locations. Uh, I'm here at Ed Edlingjum because it has a rather fantastic castle ruin. It's known as a castle but I think the actual history was it was just some fancy, fancy fortified home but still a lovely spot and a lovely spot for some photography. So I'm back in my happy place as usual. Heritage buildings, castle ruins, and a bit of wiggling for some ICM. The future I will show. Right then, sentence for today at this very moment. I've um, got the 16 to 35 mil on. Uh, I am thinking I am still a little bit too close. So I think we're going to move back for the next few shots. Um, 1.3 seconds, ISO 100 and F11. Which given there's a fairly balanced, balanced exposure because of the sunlight hitting the building and the, the very blue sky behind, there is tending to be some balance issues at the moment. I've moved back about 20 yards so I can just fit more in. I am shooting at 16 mil and I'm still, it feels like I'm very, I was very close before. Um, but now we're a little bit further back and also the advantage of coming back a little bit further back here. You get better composition. I usually do set up rule of thirds or if there's leading lines I will, I will uh, look to adopt those into the image somehow. But the other, the other advantages coming a bit further back is we now have the view of the old railway bridge in the background, which just adds adds another little element to it. Hopefully it doesn't interfere too much with the overall picture and how the the image moves around as I shoot it. Uh, but we'll find out. Well, coming this far back has changed my movement. Um, I'm still trying to sort out which way is best, you know, whether I'm twisting the camera or just wiping side to side. You, you've just got to adapt your movement to your scene. And also coming back, it has darkened it, so I've got to be careful where where the light source is. This, because with coming back, the sky is now lighter than most of the land. So that's a, another balance issue to, to work out, both in movement and in settings. So to balance these shots out, what, what I've been doing, is again still moving the camera almost like just shaking it as I'm opening the shutter but dropping the camera this way like that and what that's doing is that, that's painting retaining more of the detail in the left in the right hand side of the image but painting in more of that brighter blue sky into this area in front of us uh, and that's helping balance things out But again, the light's changing all the time. Sun's getting lower and lower and lower. Um, so that's, it's, it, you're, all, you're, you're very much fighting against the light. 
and the changing light so you've got, you've got to be adapting all the time it is a struggle this time this <laughs> this at times hence why I don't shoot a lot at sunrise and sunset because the light changes that much that you've got to be you've got to keep up you know you've got to keep on top of your settings and constantly adapting your movements to make the best of it so I, I do tend to prefer shooting once the sun is pretty much fully up the lights kind of stable so summertime shooting I don't mind so much um, it's nice to have nice light at times but it's not it's not that important Out, just do the wrist breaker. In and amongst that flail, I got something that almost resembles Corf Castle. So you need to go all the way down to wherever Corf Castle is. It's down south somewhere. Um, you know, I've almost got the same shape from here, the, the hill, the, uh, the, ru the ruins on the top of it. I will point this, uh, this image out when I, when I edit this video together. So hopefully it comes out in Lightroom okay. <laughs> so by doing it, of course, doing it once means you have to try to do it again. wrong. That's me trying to work it out physically on how I did it. Uh, I didn't think I did it. I got one more that was close to it and then the brain just disengages from the body and you end up looking like a, an idiot or more of an idiot than I usually do. lost the all sense of coordination I had. I think we might just have to quit there.
that'll do from Edlingham. Um, so I hope you enjoyed a little wander around one of Northumberland's slightly lesser known castles or ruins or ruined fortified manor house is, is what it's billed as. Whatever it is, makes a lovely subject for some ICM work. And fingers crossed, we're going to get something really good from it. So if you enjoyed it, please do leave a like, um, share the video around, subscribe if you haven't. Until the next one, keep hard. See ya.